Hey guys, me again, Pepe, and we're at the Rochdale save today. Uh, we've been linked with Mikel Miller, a right winger, a decent player, but um, yeah, I'm not not sold on him. However, up here, uh, we need signings in a Napa. Said 30 minutes ago. Well, mate, hold your horses. We've got three. Um, Josh Clark is a free agent, right winger. He's come in. He can also play right back. Again, we're looking for versatility. Armand um, right left back, can also play left wing, left midfield. Again, versatility. And Emre Hughes, um, central midfielder, defensive player. He's come in as well. So Hughes is on 650 a week. Traore is on a grand, I think, and Clark is on 625 a week. So we've not battered the um, the transfer window that bad. Um, our man Traore is not a panic buy. Um, uh, let's see the club's finances. Still got seventy-seven thousand five hundred and six pound in the transfer budget uh we're spending forty eight thousand three hundred and thirty five a week on the wages uh although we're allowed fifty four thousand seven hundred and twelve um i i just i don't think we need any more players really um but we shall we shall see how we do um so this is the transfer window has just passed. Uh, we did also pick up Jerome Sinclair and Mark Pugh on free transfers as well uh, to improve the squad. Uh, Sinclair obviously a striker, Pugh a winger. So we're looking pretty strong. Um, a few players here that need resting that are low on fatigue. Let's see. Um, de -de 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 -de. let's give them oh god four days till we play again do you know what let's just give them three days and see if they'll be all right <laughs> right let's get to the game today we're playing Port Vale people nice badge there and uh, Tom Conlon is their star player he's a very good player midfield in real life He's a bit of a bit of a star. Uh, so Jimmy Shan, delighted to welcome new signings and uh, Mark Pugh, Traore, Clark. Oh, I forgot to mention Tom Eaves, Nathan Thomas, and Emery Hughes. Uh, I forgot to mention both of them. So Tom Eaves has come in. He's on twenty seven hundred quid a week. That's a lot of money, uh, but we did pay Hull City's ten and a half thousand pound that they wanted. Um. And then we got Nathan Thomas. He's on 900 a week on a free. Um, he was a free agent. So we've done all right. We've done bits. Typical Rochdale knocking around lower league uh, and free agents and cheap signings. But uh, oh, there we go. Dower Clark, former Rochdale player. Full time FM with brilliant work. Um, there you go. So. Our squad to face Port Vale. Um, any players still fatigued? Nope. A couple of players injured like Jordan Spence though. Um, so, unavailable. You would think Jordan Spence is unavailable. He is injured. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so goalkeepers, we got Joel Coleman there, Jay Lynch can go on the bench, right back, um, I can't play Spence, but we do have Josh Clark who needs a game, we'll put him on the bench, Josh Clark, and we'll put Armand Traore on the bench as well because he needs a bit of match sharpness, Emre Hughes can go on the bench for match sharpness, so can Nathan Thomas, and... Mark Pugh 
so 442 I think we can put a, a defender on the on the bench as well let's have Sam Abraham as left back Owen O'Connell in defense um, let's have Stefan O'Connor in defense as well um, Andy Jackson it's gonna have to go right back any um, Sam Graham I think we're gonna put him on the bench again he could do it a bit of game time midfield Liam Kelly and Aramoli look good right midfield um d d d d d let's see right midfield let's put let's put Jerome Sinclair on the right wing and Callum Harriet on the left wing and Tom Eaves up front with Jake Beasley uh let's see how that works Wes Thomas is there he needs needs a bit of game time doesn't he so that's the team I think we're going to be playing. Uh, They're going to play a 3 5 2, I think. Go on, let's just, let's just get to the game. Let's play. Here we go. Run a good run lads, go and impress me. Big tin roof at Port Vale. <laughs> I worked in uh, Port Vale once, a place called Tunstall I think it was. My lord, lock up everything when you go there. Lock up your cars, lock up your pant pockets for your wallet I tell you. Bit rough around there. <laughs> um, home of Robbie Williams. Oh, Wilson's through. Good block, and O'Connell clears it really well up towards Beasley. Come on, Bees. In real life, Bees has got like 11 goals this season already. Um, he could be on for 20 this season, Beasley. Eves to Jackson, crosses. Beasley nearly there. Uh, he'd be the first player since Ian Anderson left us to be able to get 20 goals. Abraham crosses for Sinclair, he's at the crossbar with that header. I'm going to encourage the players, oh Beasley, there he is, the man, the myth, the legend. Big Jake Beasley. Abraham with a good cross, Bees at the back post. Good header. I like straight from kickoff. Oh, come on, boys. Jackson there, covering well. Joel Coleman's got to be one of the best keepers in League Two. Up towards Beasley, can't win it though. I think we probably need a DM, you know. Well done, Coleman. Big kick forward towards Beasley again. Morley sends it out left to Harriet. Crosses to Bees. Oh! Rattled a crossbar and cleared. O'Connell to Kelly. Liam Kelly, little lad from uh, from Feyenoord. That's who we signed him from. Jackson. Yeah, you heard that right. Rochdale signed him from Feyenoord. Uh, Jackson puts that on Eve's head, but it's gone wide. Ten and a half thousand pound for Tom Eves, by the way. Jeez, that's a good signing. Oh, is he offside? Tom Conlon's crossed. Brad Walker's ran in. Thought for a moment he could have been offside there. Afraid not. Sinclair gives it to Morley. Feeds Beasley. 
It's gone wide, too wide. He should have took it earlier. Eves at the back stick. He's at the post. How's he at the post from two yards out with that head? Sinclair to Eves. Inside of Kelly. Bees. Oh, Coverlin. Saved it. Straight down his throat. Abram's going to cross this one in for the corner. Towards Bees at the back stick, but it's a way for goal kick. Oh my days, we've had 11 shots today, 3. 63% possession, we should be winning this. I encourage the boys a bit more. Mm. Emre Hughes could get a game as a DM, couldn't he? See, Bees and Eves, they're both doing pretty well up top. Eves has got 7.3, Beasley's got 7.7, .7. Abraham at left back's got an 8, Jackson's got 7.2 at right back. The defence is fine. The midfield needs to step up a bit here. The defence and attack are doing really well. Here's Sinclair. Good tricks on the edge, but Walker clears it. Oh, Jackson loses out there. Malvin Benning is a good left back in real life, really good. Rochdale linked with him a few times, but just couldn't afford him. He was at Mansfield before. Abraham to Coleman and back again. Inside to O'Connell. O'Connor back to Coleman. Long flat kick there to Beasley. He nods it on for Eves. Oh, he's poked it wide. Oh, mate. Callum Harriet's not doing great. I think I'm going to bring on Nathan Thomas for him. Tom Eves is also not doing great. So. Um, the assistant wants to bring Sam Graham on up top for him. Well done Sinclair winning that. Eves get up win it. He does. Bees gives it back to him. Oh, he shoots from a long way out. Right. I think I've got an idea what to do. What to do here. I think we're going to just move the midfield about a little bit. Um, so Nathan Thomas has come on, right? Why is it still showing Harriet? All oh, right, there we go. So we'll just wait for this passage of play to finish. I'll oh, bring on a DM. Oh, Dennis Politic. Are you kidding? Right. What I'm thinking is, oh crap, Nathan Thomas doesn't want to play there, screw it, you're going to have to, um, I'm thinking of bringing on, um, I was, originally I was thinking of doing this before we just went down, I was thinking of doing this three, um, four, three, three formation. Um, with Emre Hughes going as a DM um, that way we got a bit of protection and Dennis Politic can't pick the ball up and absolutely rinse um, rinses um, <laughs> so let's have um Advanced playmaker attack. Jerome Sinclair can be an inside forward that attacks. Nathan Thomas can also be, uh, he wants to be a winger that attacks, alright. Now I've got one sub left. Um, 
I think B's is going to have to be the target forward that attacks. Hmm. Josh Clark. I think could probably come on for Andy Jackson. Have him as a complete wing back that attacks. Sam Abraham. Uh, Abraham, sorry. Be a full back that attacks. I think that's the best I can do right now. And just go very attacking. Be a lot more direct. Get stuck in. Right, let's see if that helps. Port Vale on the attack, Dennis Politic again, pulls it back for Proctor, he's tackled, Coleman up towards Beasley. We've dominated this game. Come on boys. Come on, get an equaliser, last minute, come on. Oh god. 2-1, I don't think we deserve to lose that to be honest. Damn it. So, points dropped. First points of the season dropped as well. We've had a good start to the transfer window, but uh, should have done better there. Should have done a lot better. Well, the scouts have offered me a guy called Melvin City, who is 21, like Aaron Morley, who's worth between 300 and 900 grand. Um, three and a half stars, like him. Um, looks a little bit more attacking and wants to be a Mazella rather than deep line playmaker. Morley's one quicker in speed and vision, but City's uh, quicker at defending and two quicker in the aerial stuff. He's six foot as well. Morley's 5'11. Um, across the board, he's a steady Eddie. Uh, I mean he's a free transfer 825 let's offer him a uh, let's offer him a two year deal at 850 if he takes it he takes it if he doesn't he doesn't um, but I think I think he's all right. Jimmy Shan, Ebbsfleet trial offer for City. So Jimmy Shan's put his name forward. We'd still be well within the wage budget and transfer budget. So I'm I'm gonna have a little look. Oh, he's agreed terms with us. There you go. Bloody hell, that was quick. Um, okay, we'll accept that. And we're going to play Tranmere now because, quite frankly, nobody... Oh, said an intensive language course. Nobody wants to uh, leave on a defeat. B-, minus. happy to have signed such a good player. Has potential to be a key player for the club. Okay. So, City comes in. Uh, no player traits, so we will get him working on something. Um, maybe get forward whenever possible. He wants to be a Mazella. And finishing is only eight. So let's get him working on his shooting. There we go. Long shots, ten. They, that could go to eleven, hopefully. And start developing his weak foot. There we go. So, new signing for us. Melvin City, right there. Um, Morley is decent, uh, as is Kelly, but 
uh, just City's like an all-rounder, isn't he? Um, same with MAUs. MAUs is more of an all-rounder. So maybe, maybe we'll do bits. We'll see. Now I'm going to clear. Uh, what am I doing? Don't want that. I want this. Where am I? No, no, here. Bugger in hell. Sort your head out, Pepe. Here we are. Right. <laughs> I'd lost it. I'd completely lost it. So, Coleman and Lynch um, in the squad. Spence is back, so he goes into. Oh, I want to go centre half with him, don't I? With um, O'Connell. So, right back. Let's play Josh Clark there because. I think he's going to be a better right back than Andy Jackson. Um, let's put O'Connell in there with Spence. Now we've got Abraham and we got Triore. God, we've got AD White as well. I think I'm going to try and play Triore off the bench to cover the left and left midfield and left back rules. Uh, centre mid um, Ebu Adams is low on fatigue How is he low? He didn't play uh, Along with Brearley So Let's see Adams, Brearley Training Rest Three days There we go um, Central midfielders MAU's is going to start He's only going to get fit if he starts Morley will be in there with him Then we've got Mark Pugh And Nathan Thomas Both vying for a place um, I think I'm going to play Pugh there And have Thomas on the bench for him And right midfield Drum Sinclair did well there. And let's have Wes Thomas and Tom Eves up top. Beasley on the bench. Um, let's also put Newby on the bench. Julian Carey. Young lad, let's put mm. Jimmy Keohane, Armand Traore, both can go on the bench, and Stephen O'Connor. There we go. So, Pew, I think we're going to have as an inside forward that attacks. Former Bournemouth man as well, Pew. He was born in Bake Up in Rochdale. Um, Wes Thomas, I think, will have as a poacher. Tom Eves can definitely be a target forward. Um, Sinclair definitely wants to be more of an inside forward that attacks. Hughes, I think, all day long is a deep line playmaker that defends. It's probably what we need. Deep line play making it defends as well for Morley. So, hmm, well, I've used as a ball winning midfield that defends. That I think is more or less where we should be. Okay, Clark, Hughes, and Pew. Short match fitness, but we've got players on the bench who can handle that. Come on, boys. We beat Tramir at home 2 1 in real life. And uh, I spoke to a couple of their fans outside the ground actually, who said they were going to be in trouble this year. I said they'll be alright, and turns out they're up in the playoffs in real life. Um, but at the time they were in relegation zone after they lost to us, or just above it, I'm not sure. 
but um, we all agreed we hated Oldham. Um, <laughs> for whatever reason, Tram may hate Oldham as well. So I hope you enjoy your Christmas. Um, MA users picked up the yellow card already after 11 minutes. Start as you mean to go on, son. Why not? Let's encourage the players. There's Clark, Sinclair and Hughes all exchanging passes. But Clark puts it across and Tom Eves smashes it against the post before it's cleared. Morley to Pew. Haberham swings one in. Oh, Sinclair's header falls in the hands of Ross Dewan. Uh Joe Murphy was the goalkeeper that day. He got injured and Ross Dewan came on for him. Uh, came off the bench. Sinclair crosses. Where's Thomas? Heads it. But thunderously against the uh, crossbar. Duffy now for them. Oh no. Oh, it's Chip Coleman. Mark Duffy. Who didn't start the game in real life. He was on the uh, touchline. Running up and down the uh, pitch side of the touchline. Not the... Uh, the bit where it's possible, warm up. He was actually on the pitch and winding the uh, fans up at the Sandy Lane end. I was in that Sandy Lane, <laughs> Sandy Lane end when he was doing it. Josh Clark, he's one of those uh, players who's probably old enough just to enjoy his football now and have the banter with the fans. Mark Duffy, so fair play to him. O'Connell at the back gives it more like Hughes now. Finds Sinclair on the right hand side, it's a good ball, back to Clark, inside to Hughes, Morley, shoots, oh he's hit the crossbar and over. Oh my days. Um, boys, I think we have to be a lot higher tempo. Out of possession, stay on your feet, press more often. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Let's go, boys. The second half better be a bloody good one. Let's thrash the arms at them. There we go. Need to encourage them. Let's go very attacking as well. Mark Pugh is injured. Um, Nathan Thomas can come on for him. MA Users just got injured. Bloody hell. Um, Jimmy Keirhane will have to come on for him. Oh, Wes Thomas has put one in. Go on, son. He's got the equaliser. Abraham puts one deep in. The defenders all miss it. Clark then pulls it uh, towards Knight Percival and Thomas is there. Right. Tom Eves needs to come off. Oh, get it out. Abraham clears it. Tom Eves has it. Gives it to Sinclair. Oh. Do you know what? I think I'm going to bring on Alex Newby. And then play him in a number 10 role behind Thomas. Let's just. Let's just do that. Newby. Number 10. Shadow striker, mate. Go get yourself a goal. Where's Thomas? Be target forward that attacks. Jimmy Keirhane. Box to box midfielder, mate. Right. Let's try and win this. Last 15 minutes, boys. Come on. Duffy swings in one. Oh, is it the crossbar? Keirhane clears it. Man more from them. Come on, lads. Let's 
We've lost 2-1. This could be a 1-1 one -one draw. I'd like to win 2-1. Newbie. Oh, Sinclair's gone down. That's a penalty. Definitely a penalty. It's going to be Morley that takes it. Oh, he's straight at doing. What a prat. What a prat. What an absolute prat. You are a prat of all prats. Why would you do that? Why would you put it right down the keeper's throat? Why do that? Oh my god, we could have won it. Absolutely shocking. The 91st minute, he misses the penalty. Morley, you plonker. 12 at penalty taking as well, so he's not bad at it, but what a numpty. Oh my god. So there we go. We made some transfers. We've lost one. We've drawn one. We're still top of the league after seven games. We've got 18... Uh, no, bloody hell, we're second. Uh, after seven games, we've got 16 points. Northampton have overtook us. Ah, dear me. Terrible. So, that's us. I'm going to love you and leave you and see you tomorrow. It's six o'clock. These Rochdale videos will be out at six. Don't forget, Celtic save at 11. Make sure you smash a like on the video for me, please. Apparently it helps with the algorithm. And I will see you all tomorrow in the next one. God bless you. Take care of yourself. See you soon. Bye now.